A few weeks ago, I made a video about the Capitulamon species, which was quite an interesting family to talk about. Today we'll be talking about the Kogamon species. I'm really excited to talk about more insects Digimon, so you know, let's do it. <laughs> To start this off, the Kogamon species is a family of stag beetle. The stag beetle is a group of about 1,200 species of beetles in the family. So the species grows to over 12 cm but must are about 5 cm so it's not that big. Not like the rhinoceros beetle, the stag beetle can actually hurt you a little bit more. And what is really funny is that the male can't do anything because he does not have enough strength in his jaw to bite. But the female does. A bite from a female can be actually pretty painful but does not normally require any medical treatment so that's pretty good for that now the question is who's the dominant in the stag beetle it's definitely not the male this time <laughs> now back to the Kogamon. Kogamon species digimon have a natural opposite that of a capturamon species digimon and digimon more balefully and if you're not familiar with the species well all digimon that have Kogamon or Kogamon in their name are part of that family now to the species, to start this off we got Blade Kogomon, an insect type matching Digimon whose entire body has been weaponized, a Digimon that resembles the sauce type beetle, for an and for an adult it is a rare species whose whole body has been turned into chrome digizoid, it has a habit of reacting indiscriminately to anything that moves, and it is said that when someone is attacked by a swarm of Blade Kogomon, it will burst even ultimate Digimon all over their bodies and cause them to die. Now, to Kokuomon, a very unusual insect mecha Digimon that was recently discovered. Kokuomon's design is derived from the little stag beetle. Their existence itself was never even imagined, because it will discharge one envy of electricity from the stun gun shaped head and arms it possesses if it's in sensor danger. You must not carelessly approach. However, he has not an aggressive personality but a docile personality which seeks tranquility. He uses electricity as its source of nutrient and charges electric power using its metal two legs. Kokuomon X is another version of Kokuomon that enhances its matching trend. He gains the ability to change into a plane. Moving now we get Okuomon, an insect with Digimon. Okuomon's design is derived from the giant stag beetle. As a digital version of Kogamon, it digital more balefully than Kabuturomon species Digimon. It was enhanced with a particular focus on Kogamon's inferior defensive side. As for its offensive side, the reconnaissance ability of its antennae was improved, and the attack accuracy of its sizer was increased. In addition, it has proven that it possesses not only its survival instinct, but also its destructive impulse as its primary threats. It can be said that it has a more aggressive digital form. Okuomon also have an X antibody form that is called Okuomon X antibody, and the effect on Okuomon's digital due to the X antibody is really crazy. Like Kogamon, its extensive destructive impulse, such as swapping down non virus Digimon without wasting breath on discussion, have increased. The gigantic Pricers on its head have split into three, and its offensive ability has powered up not by three times that of a traditional Okuomon, but rather by its cube. Its special move is an enhanced version of Sizer Arms Omega. Now, we got Kogamon, of course, an instance with Digimon. It is armed with Gigantic pencils on its head. Like Kabuturamon, it has combat abilities that far exceed those of similar species that inhabit File Island. It is protected by its tenacious power and sturdy shell, in particular, as a power of its, as a power of its pincers. It's super powerful. Once it claps an enemy, it will squeeze until the opponent's life is extinguished. There's a perfect rivalry between it and the vaccine attribute Kabuturamon, and there's only conflict between them. The sensei is also inspired by the saw stag beetle. And of course, Gogamon also have a nice ex body form that enhances its insect traits, he gains a 5 point crest on the back of its head and its metal have changed shape. Metal Life Kogamon, it is a species of Kogamon which rapidly boosts its offensive power by means of, of armification. He has also gained grappling ability due to the fact that its form has become a manuid. And as he has both a tough shell as well as enable movements, he will stop class balance among ultimate Digimon. Now to Grandest Kogamon, only the strongest few among the evil Grakomon called the demon of the deep forest evolve into it. And if you come across Grandest Gogumon, you can call yourself lucky to some extent. Its presence is constantly like dense fog, and he has the rarest species among insect Digimon. He has pride as a virus species, and according to one theory, it is even said to be a warrior in league with Black War Greymon, who preaches own justice as a virus species. The grand killers on both of its arm are capable of causing wounds 
no matter how hard the shell of metal is, so it will depend those ones and eventually bring down the enemy. Grandis Gorgomon design is derived from the Grandis Giant Sad Beetle. Grandis Gorgomon also have another mode that is called Honey Bee Mode, which is nearly identical to Grandis Gorgomon, except it is now wearing Honey Bee's Mon armor on its torso, with its helmet as boulders and thus bears the crest of knowledge on them. Its brother gnome is now stripped as well. This Digimon can be seen in Digimon Crosswords if you don't know about this guy. Because we don't have much information about him either. Now we have Grand Korgoman, the ultimate form of Korgoman species Digimon. They got ace powered by the Grandis Giant Stack Beetle for this one. It is an especially evil Beatamon Insect Digimon. And if you happen to stumble across Grand Korgoman within the digital world, you won't be able to do anything but curse yourself. Because it inhabits the depths of the digital world's forest and is only active at night, it is called the Demon of the Deep Forest. Also, its greatest rival is Urko Capturamon, and the battle between those two continues without ever, ever ending. Oh, and there's also Mega Kogomon that can be seen in Digimon Crosswords, so it's pretty much Grand Kogomon, but just a bit bigger. <laughs> now, for the last one is Urko Capturamon, and the reason why I'm mentioning him is because for him to Digimon to that form, he needs the data of both Capturamon and the Kogomon species, so we can kind of consider him as part of both groups due to that, you know? So yeah guys, that was the Kogomon species, so now we have spoke about the Kogomon and Kogomon species on the channel, which I'm really happy to have completed now. So, my goal from now on is to at least have one species video each and every single week until we are done with every single one. Because there's not many left guys, so we're definitely gonna try to get them done by the end of next month. So that's gonna be crazy, I'm really excited and I hope you guys are looking forward to that as well. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, that'll be greatly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe if you like Digimon like I do, you know what I'm saying? Because I like Digimon so much, you know what I'm saying? So yeah! Peace out and have an amazing Gucci sexy day. You know it.